Just a short drive from Milwaukee, there's a piece of living history. It's one of the last hand-operated systems of locks in America. Yep, it still works all summer long, getting people from where they are to where they want to be. We took a road trip up to Appleton last month to see this relic in action. It's a quiet day out on the water, motoring along the Fox River as it cuts a path past Appleton. A trip that would be impossible if not for some technology as old as the state of Wisconsin. Where are we? What is this place we are in right now? Well, right now we're on the Lower Fox River and we are in between uh, Appleton Lock number four and the Cedars Lock, which is just around the next corner. Jeremy Cords knows this river better than most. He's executive director of Fox Locks. That's the group maintaining a piece of state history that keeps the Fox River moving. So you can't go to Menards and get these parts. The river is held back every few miles by a dam like this one. Otherwise, the lazy Fox River would be a series of unpassable rapids. Boats slip through on the side through a lock. Those locks use rushing water to gently raise or lower a boat to the right level to keep on moving. But these locks come with a catch. And they're all hand operated still today. They've been fully restored to hand operation condition, the same as what they would have been in the 1840s when, when you would have been on the locks over 170 years ago. Way back when, merchants wanted a way to connect Lake Winnebago through the Fox River with Green Bay. From end to end, a 39 mile trip. From top to bottom, a drop in elevation of 168 feet about a 16 story building or the entire height of Niagara Falls. This is one of the few rivers that actually flows north in the state of Wisconsin because of the elevation change. By building the locks, those early traders tamed the river, making it a place business could thrive. In the end, what it really did is it let people move into the area. You could bring in your industrial goods, your textiles, everything you needed to build homes. Today, the industry is all but gone. Now it's mostly homes, old and new. This used to actually all be a paper mill, paper plant. It was all rehabilitated and all of a sudden built up. Instead of timber and paper moving up and down the river, it's pleasure boats and kayaks. Only the presence of a lock tender remains the same, slowly draining or flooding a lock to keep everybody moving. Well, you know, you step back in time because it's not instant. People really enjoy it and they, they kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's a journey through time when you're in the lock chamber. A journey we can keep taking because the Fox locks keep this little bit of history alive. And the locks also help keep some invasive species out of Lake Winnebago. Just a temporary benefit. They say they're looking for new ways to keep that unwanted aquatic life away. Pretty very, interesting, Steve. Very cool field trip.